Hey, it's Faye. I just got back from Adobe Max in LA and it was epic. During the second day's keynote, Brandon B took the stage and showed us exactly how he creates his epic Instagram reels with Adobe Firefly's Gen AI video features. He rarely demos everything step by step and he did it live in front of 10,000 people. I'm showing you every step of how he transforms the ending of one of his reels into another sequence entirely using Firefly. So let me know in the comments below what you all think. Now, I absolutely loved this comment here to the side. Uh, me waiting for the enemies to love us to us. Oh. Take our statue antagonist, and I want to bring him inside of our desert environment. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take a snapshot uh, of a clear frame of our statue. That looks pretty good. And I'll throw it out onto the board just to the side. Right? Uh, now, I want to take our desert environment and find, again, a nice clear shot. And that will be perfect and throw that out to the side as well. Perfect, now we've started to compile our puzzle. Right, now we're gonna come down to this Generate Image tab over here. The first thing we wanna do is select the model that we wanna use. So I'm gonna start with Gemini 2.5, now in Rana, and we're gonna input our prompt. So, here is one I prepared earlier. POV, a marble statue, puckered its lips, running towards the camera through a desert storm. I'm now going to go ahead and select our reference image selector. Uh, we're going to hit on our statue first. We're then just going to close in where we want the model to be focusing on. So we're just going to hone it in on our statue. Perfect. Then we'll take our desert environment and we'll select that. And we will hit generate. Now, the code section is one of my favorite places to look for inspiration. It's a community of like minded creatives all offering their creative two cents. Developing ideas at scale. Now, the best part is comment threads are public, meaning you can also get inspired by my comment section or the comment threads from one of your favorite creators. Ah, perfect, it looks like we're done. So we're just going to take that image and drag it out and take a look and see what Firefly's created. <laughs> that looks scary and great at the same time. Um, okay, so I'm happy with how that looks, but we also have a great feature up here called Vary. Uh, Vary allows us to take this idea and create tons of variations. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of the process because you never quite know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it's magic, uh, other times it's completely unhinged, but that's part of the fun. Firefly is gonna throw tons of new variations at us. Everything from character design, to costume, to locations, all to help inspire that final outcome. It's like testing the pieces of the puzzle, most don't fit, but when one does, you know straight away. Great, that's done, that looks awesome. Uh, now, I really liked that, that first image generation Firefly created for us, so let's stick with that. Uh, we'll just remove the prompt that we created earlier. Again, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and select our model, we'll use VO 3.1, and we'll enter in our next prompt. Here's what I prepared earlier. So we've written POV video, a marble statue chases the camera in the desert, running fast, straight to the lens, with puckered lips, and kisses the lens. Uh, we're then going to come to our first frame selector and we're going to select on this frame that we've generated. Uh, we're going to keep it into portrait and we hit generate. Great. Now you'll notice at the bottom there's this audio toggle. We're going to keep that toggle on because VO is one of the models that supports audio generation. So VO will do a great job at generating some initial sound effects for us, but sound effects is only half of the process. We're also going to want to create an awesome score to go along with the piece. And that's what our next tool today is going to help with. We're going to jump into Firefly's Generate Soundtrack, and we're going to generate our own custom score to go along with our new twist ending. So you'll see we've got all these toggles at the side, vibe, style, and purpose. Uh, I want to start the process by describing the vibe of the song that we're after. So let's go for something that feels a little bit dramatic. I think it should also be upbeat, but also be slightly comedic. Uh, then for our style, uh, let's go for classical. I think the, the strings will sound great here. And then finally, let's use cinematic. I think that the surround sound in the room should be awesome. Uh, then we've got purpose. It doesn't quite look like any of these options quite fit what we're after. So we'll just type something custom in. I'll go enemies to lovers story. Oh. Perfect. Uh, nice, we've got our last few options down here. Let's set the energy to high, the tempo to fast, and we'll set our duration to 30 seconds, and we'll see what Firefly cooks for us. Great. 
Now we have four tracks to select between. Let's listen to the first one and see if it's along the right sort of lines. Let's definitely nail the epic side. Right, let's check back in our video generation and see how we're getting on. Perfect. It looks like our video is done. Let's throw that out the board and take a look. is bringing all of this magic together into one place. So I'm going to open up Firefly Video Editor and start bringing all of our assets together. You'll see in our scene I've already got the live action plate from before. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is going to go up to our generation history. You'll see this video that we just generated is already sitting here. So I'm just going to drag this in, let that load for a little sec. Drag that down. And our video is in. Now, of course, you'll notice there's a little bit of a problem here. The two shots don't cut together whatsoever. So our first job here is going to be making a seamless transition between these two scenes, going straight from our first live action clip to our new generated scene. To do this, we're going to place our playhead between these two scenes. We're going to come up to Generation Settings. We then want to set, let's see if I can get this, the first frame of our new clip as the last frame of our first clip. Oops, smashed it. We'll hit current frame, and then, one more time, we'll set our last frame of our new generated clip to the first frame of our last clip. Amazing. Now we just want to tell Firefly exactly what we want to see happen between this gap. So, uh, of course, here is what I prepared earlier. Uh, we've got POV in slow motion. The statue emerges from deep beneath the sand, and then starts running towards the camera in super slow motion. Now you're probably thinking, Brian and Mike bring some slow motion in three different forms throughout our prompt. Well, at the moment, we are currently in a beta version, so we are locked into a five-second duration. Now, for this transition, I've already got the, the meat of what I'm looking to create. I'm not looking for a really long five-second transition. So uh, a fun little workaround we found is if I actually include in our prompt that we're looking to create this transition in slow mo it then means I can go into our properties editor, speed up the clip, and create it to the duration that I actually want this transition to play at. Amazing, it looks like we're still cooking down here. Uh, so in the meantime, let's look at our audio selections and decide what we want to bring in. So you'll see up here, if we go to the audio tab, I've got all of our audio sections from before. Um, I actually favorited one of them that I really like, so I'm going to drag that straight in below here. And just like Premiere or any editor that we used to, you'll see that it just very naturally sits in our timeline as we'd expect. Amazing. Now, this is the moment of truth. Sometimes this works perfectly first time. Uh, sometimes Firefly likes to remind us that we're doing this live. Uh, but that's the part of the fun creative process. Great, that looks like that's wrapping up. So once that's complete, it's just going to sit here in our video tab down here. And it looks like it has done it. So we're going to throw that between our two scenes. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to go to our properties. We're going to change the speed. Let's try 200%. And we now have everything together. So to recap, we have taken a video that we uploaded yesterday, been inspired by our comment section, used Firefly to generate an alternate ending to a video we already created, then loaded it into our video editor, created a transition scene between those two moments, and then, to put the cherry on the cake, made an original score to go underneath the whole thing. Max, it's time for the moment of truth. Yes, yes.